Hi guys, this is Serge from thesis2.com and with uh, this fifth video I'm continuing my series of videos about how to integrate WooCommerce on the thesis theme. So, uh, we have already installed the necessary plugins, the uh, WooCommerce thesis integrator plugin and WooCommerce. We have already fixed the thesis to support uh, necessary templates for WooCommerce and we have created the templates in the skin editor. So in this video uh, we're gonna check if our skin supports the uh, WooCommerce output. Uh, the issue is when you're using classic skin or any other skin which is based on that code there are chances that uh, the WooCommerce will output the HTML that has the same HTML ID uh, that your skin already uses. So, in order to detect that, we're going to create a testing product to see whether we have some uh, visual bugs on the front end. To do that, you go to your dashboard, uh, you go to your products, you click Add New, and you create a dummy product uh, with any name you wish. So, uh, it will be a testing product for us. Uh, testing product. You grab some text as a description here. So, you paste it here. Uh, then, the, this is the screen for editing your blog posts, products and pages, uh, which is uh, the same screen for everything. On products you have just a couple of more boxes here. Uh, one of them controls the product data and the other one is a product short description. So, we're going to create this short description as well, using some text. Uh, sorry, here, okay, just paste it, and we're gonna set the featured image for the product, uh, clicking this link. I have already some images in my media library, so I'll be using just this one. I set it as a featured image, and we're gonna create some uh, gallery images here. Uh, you press your control button to select several images. For example, four, five, six of them, and you add to the gallery so that you have the gallery of the images displayed. Uh, once it is done, uh, you uh, may create a product category for testing, uh, like testing category. Category. Then you go and create your product tag, like testing tag, and once it is done, you uh, save draft or you publish this product for testing purposes. Uh, let me just second. So once everything here is configured, you uh, go to your uh, product data, you select a uh, simple product here, uh, probably virtual will be fine for testing. Uh, you just set the price here, like 10 pounds, and you save your draft. Okay, and then for example, uh, or you publish your product, it will be easier for testing the templates. And you click the View Product button here. So, as you have noticed, uh, you have some uh, bugs within the display. Uh, this is because your skin uh, is using the container and content IDs and WooCommerce as well is using container and content IDs. So, in order to fix that, a first step would be to go to your uh, thesis skin editor 
and you enable the automatic WordPress classes applied to your uh, body uh, tag. Uh, in order to do that, you go to your uh, skin editor, you find any template, you open the geo box for the body, and you check this box, use automatically generated WordPress body classes. Uh, when this box is checked, uh, the uh, WordPress uh, can access the body tag classes and apply them to your products. So you just refresh the page and you see that this looks a bit better uh, because now Wo uh, WooCommerce can access the uh, classes needed to apply it to your uh, page. But you see that there are some bugs, visual bugs here. And this is happening because uh, your skin is using the same IDs as WooCommerce output. So in order to fix that, uh, you go to your dashboard, uh, WooCommerce, Settings. Uh, here you will see uh, the integration tab. So you click that tab and you choose the thesis theme integration. So uh, you have some checkboxes here. Uh, the first one is about the HTML container. So you need to know whether your skin is using uh, that HTML ID. In order to do that, you open your uh, either you open your skin editor here. Or you may check it uh, directly by using uh, uh, tools, uh, webmaster tools, to see whether the ID container is used already, which is the case for this skin. Or you may check it, for example, in your uh, skin uh, when you open the geo box for container. You will see that the HTML ID container is already used. So uh, we check the first box. Then we need to know whether the skin is using the content. So let us go uh, to the product page and check that. We open the container. Uh, we see columns here. So we have the ID content already implied. And then when we open it, we see another container here. And we open it once again, we see another content. So yes, our skin is using uh, content ID. Uh, before uh, the WooCommerce. So we need to check that box once again and we save changes. Uh, once it is done we refresh the page here to see if this has fixed our issue. Yeah, you see that this is now working nice. Uh, the next step on the reviews you might have some uh, visual bugs with the star ratings. So uh, here, uh, when you s hover the uh, cursor over the stars, you see that the stars uh, are not divided properly. So this means you have this visual bug on the fidget theme. In order to fix that, uh, you enable the last option, add an extra style sheet uh, to fix some display bugs on the thesis, and you save changes. So when you refresh your page and you try to add the product review, you will see that the uh, behavior has changed here. The stars are adding properly. So you may count exactly how many stars you have. So let us just add some uh, test rating here. So here you go. You have ratings with the four stars uh, and everything displays properly. So we have fixed the visual bugs on the thesis theme and you have the uh, product page here with add to cart button and you have your description and reviews here. So let us just test the add to cart button if that works properly. Yes, uh, you have your message displayed here, so you check the view, uh, view card. Uh, it is done here, so you may check the checkout page. Uh, everything's look 
uh, everything looks good. Uh, you have another option for the product to have the uh, delivery to another address, but you need to modify your product so that it is not virtual one, uh, but the physical product. Uh, so it will be displayed here. So uh, for the moment everything is working. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show you some extra options that you have in WooCommerce settings on the Fizzy Store options and how to use them. So cheers guys, see you in the next video.